So we were planning on staying here until tomorrow because uh, Scott's still here. He's in a hotel at the moment. <coughs> but last night we were hanging out with some other cruisers and they said they're all leaving today because there's some <coughs> southwesterly winds coming. <coughs> Shush, I'm trying to talk. <coughs> Oi, moody moody. <coughs> so they told us that they're heading up the coast uh, slightly, like kind of around the corner where they'll be sheltered. There's apparently some um, quite big swell coming in here as well. So we thought, well, we'll leave with them as well and we can just get the bus back down here to see Scott on his last day. But we've got ready this morning. We're ready to go. We're going to turn the engine on and it won't start because the batteries are too low. We haven't had any wind really at all for like ages. I've only got one solar panel and so it doesn't really uh, keep the batteries topped up enough. So this is what Liam's doing right now. This is the uh, engine starter solar panel. So we've got one for the house batteries and this one is for the engine battery. So Liam's just sitting there. Pointing at the sun. <laughs> waiting for all the engine battery to charge enough so that we can start it. It's charged quite a bit already. It's working. Yeah, I mean, we're not in a massive rush. The winds are supposed to pick up around, did you say 11, Liam? It's changed every time I've looked at it. It's about lunchtime. Yeah, and it's about 10 o'clock now and it's perfectly calm still so we've got time we're not in a massive rush so we really should have gone with my idea yesterday when the engine wouldn't start I said how about we go for lunch we let the batteries charge and then we sail in the afternoon oh it'll be all right we'll just stay here tonight I mean it was all right but it was quite a rolly night and now we're going to leave first thing this morning and it's raining. Rolly seas, rainy weather. Not what we wanted. <laughs>
first sale as a family, just the three of us. It hasn't gone particularly smoothly. We had to motor for the first hour because we didn't have any wind. Now that we've come around that headland over there, we've got some wind. We did have the, the jib out, but uh, the wind wasn't right. We couldn't point the way we wanted to go, so we put the jib away. So we're just going with the main and we're doing about four knots. So, as you may have noticed, I didn't manage to cut Liam's hair when I started the other day because Evangeline needed me. But he is in desperate need of a haircut. He can't see. Might just shave it all off. Uh, I'm not sure I'd be attracted to you anymore. But you could try it. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, where those seagulls are, there were some dolphins, but. Oh, I just saw a fin then. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera. There must be some fish there. They say that babies don't get seasick. That's what I've read and heard anyway. But I'm sure that Evangelina is seasick right now. She's sleeping, but before she went to sleep, she was sick on the floor, all down my leg. And eventually, she's, she's never sick. She's very, very rarely ever sick, so I'm pretty sure she was feeling seasick. When we were coming round that headland, the waves were on the beam and it was really rolling. It's calmed down quite a bit now, so hopefully when she wakes up, she'll be okay. It's much calmer now, isn't it, sweetheart? You don't feel seasick anymore, do you? You don't seem like it. We've had lots of smiles since you've woken up. Are you happy to just chew your toes? We're not too far away now anyway. Just over an hour, I think. <laughs> you good girl. We had planned to anchor just forward and to the left of this black yacht, but the chain got stuck in the locker and by the time Liam had freed it, we drifted too close, so we circled round for another attempt. I was nervous with it being so windy and worried I might run a windsurfer over, so we ended up anchoring really far away. So we've just anchored, we're at El Medino. Liam dove the anchor and it's nice and dug into the sand. It's quite windy here, it's very popular with windsurfers and kite surfers and things those people are doing over there. I don't know if we'll stay here very long though because it's quite a dinky ride to shore and uh, our dinghy's not that reliable. We'll see. Over there, that's where we were anchored before. That's where that oil rig is, that whatever that place is. El Medino is quite famous for windsurfing. It has over 300 windy days a year and hosts national and international competitions. It was certainly very busy with wind servers whilst we were there. I think that was an even 
worst night than the night before. I don't really know how much sleep I've got at all. <laughs> it's not too bad now. It's still a bit rocky, but rolly. I should say rolly. We're not on rocks. Rolly. Quite a nice sunrise. Well, it's still coming into the second ridge, so maybe we'll move. So we decided to stay here today, mainly because we just don't really know if anywhere else would actually be any better. And we know the anchor's holding here, so we're safe here. And it's meant to be really windy tomorrow as well, so we may as well just stay here where we know we're held in good. And then on Wednesday, today's Monday, I think we'll get the bus, we'll dinghy ride, we'll have a horrible dinghy ride. Well, it shouldn't be too horrible if the wind and waves will calm down, but it's still... It's far past two, but... It's still far, the distance is far to go in our unreliable dinghy. And then we'll get the bus to San Miguel, we think, and do a bit of stocking up on stuff because we've got no fresh fruit or vegetables. I've made some bread that's the oven's just heating up ready to put that in but we haven't really got much in the way of provisions Evangeline who's that Evangeline you just bouncing hello you doing the bouncing Evangeline what are you staring at what's so interesting on the table <laughs> hey yeast this time so it's worked a bit better than last time with the baking powder should be yummy Evangeline is doing really well at learning to sit up even though her home is constantly moving that's a clever girl that's a clever girl it's a rainy day today and that means drying nappies inside. The next day, however, was the opposite. Peacefully calm and gorgeous sunshine. So I decided to jump in the sea to freshen up and wash my hair. Later that morning we met up with friends from three other yachts to walk up La Montaña Roja.
If you enjoyed the video, make sure you're subscribed, give the video a like and feel free to leave us a comment.